Now to an inspiring weight loss win, a man dropping more than 300 pounds by taking walks to Walmart. What a great idea, shedding the weight and getting back his life. ABC's Mars Gavicampo went one-on-one -on -one with him. Hey, Mar. David, this is a transformation really you will not believe. They call him Possible Pat, and he accomplished the near impossible. He was tipping the scales at more than 600 pounds when his doctor told him he may die in his sleep. So he decided to change his life, going from 53% body fat to 10% body fat. And now he's training to be a bodybuilder. How did he do it all? Well, it started with one walk to Walmart. Walmart. Ever since he was little, Pat Bracco was always known as the big kid. My nickname was Fat Pat, or Fatty Patty, or Pat Steaks. And until three years ago, at 28 years old, he weighed in at a shocking 605 pounds. Already pre-diabetic, his doctors told him he was in serious danger. He said, you know, it's possible that you might die. It really hit home. That's when Pat went home, looked at himself in the mirror, and took this photo. My stomach was down to my thighs. My chest was hanging down here. I was disgusted. And so his journey started by throwing out all the food in his house, deciding that every time he was hungry, he would walk one mile to the closest Walmart and one mile home to eat his meal. Doing this for a year and a half, losing a whopping 200 pounds. You walk to Walmart three times a day and you ended up walking six miles. It was amazing because I've never walked six miles in my life and I was doing it every day. Saying goodbye to junk food, fast food and soda and hello to clean eating. It basically was vegetables, meats and clean carbs. Carbs such as sweet potatoes, brown rice, quinoa, and steel cut oatmeal, and learning along the way that he'd never be able to eat certain foods again. Once I figured out dairy was my downfall, I took it out of my diet and instantly I started losing weight again. From Walmart walks to workouts at the gym, incline on the treadmill, pushing the sled, lifting weights, and now he can do it all. I mean, 600 pounds. I couldn't even go to a gym. I didn't fit on machines. From Fat Pat to Possible Pat, 330 pounds lighter, not only changing his own life, but encouraging his one-year-old son as well. And set an example for my son. So he, he can come up and be Possible Pat too. <laughs> Good job! <laughs> This that story makes incredible. me so yeah. happy. Amazing. Well, Pat has undergone the final step in his transformation. Just this week, he had surgery to remove about 30 pounds of excess skin. He had really been looking forward to that. Now he's at home recovering, says he's feeling good. We hope he's watching. Pat, congratulations on everything yeah. you've achieved. Pat is jacked. Yes. Not only is he, has he, <laughs> he's setting the bar for the rest of us. You know, he achieved this, though, by really watching what he ate. What was he eating before and what's so he eating So let's now? take a look at this. This is amazing. This is one day of what Pat was eating before when he was more than 600 pounds. One one day. This, the one nuggets day. here? These are 100 chicken nuggets. We have a shake. We have a huge meatball sandwich, donuts, candy, a whole bag of cereal, lots of soda, and of course the dairy that he mentioned. Yeah. This is what Pat is eating today. So this is about 11,000 calories. This is 2,200, all fresh whole foods, nothing processed. He's really setting a great example. Of course, combining what he's eating with also the exercise lots and the business. simple walks to Walmart. Yeah. Now I'm going to try to pull off a simple walk at Dr. Jan I think Ashton you can do it. All right. I'm going to try to lose a few calories. <laughs> Here. We're joined now by our contributor, Dr. Jen Ashton, who is board certified in obesity medicine. Dr. Ashton, great to see you. How are you, you David? Uh, I made the walk. You I did. Lost very a few calories well. right there. Uh, anyway, this is just incredible. And you heard that he watched what he ate. How much of that is um, crucial to losing any kind of weight? A large part of yeah. it. In the nutrition world, we call this the energy balance. It's the calories we put in. It's not just about what we're eating, but how much. And I'm going to break some news here, David. Right. You know what the best diet is that data has shown? Best. It's the one that works for you. Oh. So he <laughs> found what works for him. My prescription here, portion control. So important. We saw it there. It's important for everyone. You know, the first instinct for everyone is really just to hit the gym hard. We see the Olympic athletes out in Times Square for us, but yep. so much of this has to do with food first, watching what you eat and then the gym. Absolutely. But look, what we do in the gym, how we move, that's important for not just how we feel, but what people see on the outside. The Institute of Medicine actually recommends to lose weight. 60 minutes of moderate intensity exercise a day. For men, you want to drop your caloric by about 500 calories a day. For women, it's about 400 
1,500 calories a day. My prescription for fitness, mix it up. You want to lift weights, you want to do cardio, you want to work in the interval. Yeah, train. make it interesting for yourself, and make it right? Fun. The other thing, too, is this is complex. Obesity is. You can't just think of it as food or exercise. Correct. There's much more there. That's right. And this pyramid is really what we're using in the world of obesity medicine. Behind the diet and fitness, you have to talk about FDA approved weight loss medications. There are numerous ones that are on the market. You can lose between 3 and 10 percent of your body weight. But to be clear, there can be side effects. They can be expensive. My prescription is to try and see a physician who is board certified in obesity medicine to see if this is an option. We know Pat's getting some surgery now after the fact to right. remove the excess skin and what have you. But what about surgery going in? We have over 20 years of data on bariatric surgery. It can be life saving. It is not a quick fix. My prescription, if you've tried all of these and you're still obese, go see a bariatric surgeon. See if you may be a candidate. But listen, if you're overwhelmed, just look at Pat in that oh, story. Isn't it incredible? I love the story.